I guess that the the, the officials from the from the IMF, um, I think that they were being polite, and they're telling them, well, you do good on something, but then look at the other aspects. I mean, when you look at the fundamentals, what they were saying, number one, the debt is still at almost a hundred percent, and it's too high, even with the recent restructuring of the of the uh, super bond, we are almost at a hundred percent. They're mentioning that. Um, they have about about five percent of GDP outstanding debt that they haven't even bought it as part of of their in the books because of these um, losses that the government has done, these different um, lawsuits that they have been facing. Um, they mention about the growth, yes, two percent, but two percent is not good enough for a country where there is a three percent plus growth. I mean, the um, population growth. So that means that more and more people are being kept behind. The third issue is the issue about the, um, the business climate that is not there, the, the government is not addressing. We need to, to look at how we can make more credit accessible through the business community by setting up a business bureau. Then we need to be more flexible in how we can set up businesses easier. We need to address the issue of corruption that affects both business and government. So these are just some fundamental issues that the IMF is, is, is pointing out to, to, to the government. And while they are saying that, yes, unemployment has gone down further to, I think, about 9.4%, is that the reality on the ground? You go to any business across the length and breadth of this country, and they will tell you that every week they're getting dozens of people applying for jobs that do not exist. 